This is a million dollars for real? What's up, GQ Sports? I'm Donovan Mitchell, and this is how I spent my first million. I'm originally from Westchester, New York, but I, I live in Greenwich, Connecticut now. That's where I went to school. Probably where we're at right now, went to Greenwich Country Day School from third grade to ninth grade. Grew up playing baseball, stopped in about 10th grade and started taking up basketball. And, um, you know, the next thing you knew, I was playing at Louisville. And, you know, after two years, I tried to test the waters, uh, as they say, for, for the NBA. And I was thankfully drafted 13, and now here we are. The NBA was definitely the, the ultimate goal, but for me, it was like, okay, how do I, you know, get to college? Then it became really a reality, like I could really do this. And, you know, throughout the process, that's when it became like, all right, like this is, this is what I want to do. Take care of my family and make sure that they don't have to work a uh, day in their life and make sure they're all set. My mom, my sister, and my dad. So you sign the contract and then you're advanced. I think that's when you're like, whoa, you know, because you're, you're getting money from, you know, when you're doing the process, you have endorsement deals, you have like cards you sign. So you're getting money off of that. But, you know, when your first paycheck hits, it's like, whoa, like, you know, this is my job. This is what I do. You can see the details of my first rookie contract right here. Fortunately, after my third year, you can get extended in your contract. And I was able to fortunate to get an extension for uh, five years and um, was supposed to be 205, but someone didn't make all NBA, however that may have happened. So, you know, you lost some, but you know, no one's complaining, I'm still blessed and still able to be able to provide for my family and give back to my mom and sister, so I'm okay. You can see the details on my extension right here. So you guys heard about how I made my first million dollars, now you guys are gonna hear about how I spent my first million dollars. First thing I bought was my mom a car and I got her a, a nice Audi that she'd always wanted. So that was about 50. It was something that I told her I wasn't gonna get her. Cause she was like, I would love to get this car. You know, I was like, yeah, maybe in like five years, six years, you know. Once I heard that, I was like, okay, like I'm gonna get in the works of trying to find a way to get this car for her. We had a home stand. I was here in New York for like five days and I drove up here and brought the car. Actually, I gave it to her here at the school um, and pulled up while she was working and walked her out and she was able to get it. So um, that was pretty special for me. The next thing I got was myself a car, and that was a, a Porsche Panamera. That was probably about 90 right there. When I was working out, I had seen it in LA, and I was like, man, that car looks dope, you know, and then I got it with a all black, red interior, some red rims. You know, obviously red's my favorite color, so that was something for me that, you know, I was like, man, I love for that to be my first car, and I was able to get it, and um, so yeah, that was my, my first purchase, my first car purchase. Uh, the next thing, you know, I think for me was to um, save some money for my sister's uh, college tuition. 300000 right there. Fortunately, she was able to, to play lacrosse. She's in where, she, where she's at school at now, but I was able to get her and make sure I have that money set aside for her. Next purchase, I got my sister a uh, car, so I made sure my sister was set. That was E60. She's always wanted a Jeep. I was able to get her a uh, Jeep Sahara, and I offered to trick it out for her, but she was like, no, I want it real simple. And I was like, all right, cool. That's something for me. I wouldn't, like, wanted to make sure my family was always set with whatever they wanted. Just kind of spoil them a little bit, or a lot of it, as much as I possibly could. And then the fifth one, the first part is I, I got my money down payment on my mom's home. The other part is also being putting money towards my foundation. You know, that's giving back uh, through spider care, it's giving back to kids in the community, giving back to just people in need. You know, I think for me, just kind of taking that upon myself, you know, understanding that with the money that I make, you know, not giving everything away, but, you know, understanding uh, just being able to help change people's lives in that way, I think is, uh, is huge for me. 250 for the foundation and 250 for the home. This is a million dollars for real. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. You know, I think the biggest thing for me is not only just, you know, being able to give back, but also saving for myself. And it's not just, you know, spending, it's also keeping it for generational wealth. You know, there are times where you, you, you just want to enjoy, you know, the life that you have, you know, and understanding that there's times for that too. 
you know, but there's also times to continue to be smart, you know, because this can go away real quick if you if you allow it to. And the tips I would say, man, is understanding that, you know, whatever you make, like take all this and cut it in half, but just from taxes alone. And then you have so many other different things, whether it's a home, you have the mortgage or you have the cars, you know, whatever it may be. But understanding that when you buy things or get things, understand you got to get things that over time appreciate and over time, you know, increase in value because money is great, but it definitely goes away quickly if you allow it to and you continue to spend. Whether it's uh, like, you know, having equity in deals such as body armor, you know, Adidas, Stan, socks, like for example, I use body armor uh, just because they're a company that matches, you know, who I am, my hunger, my passion, my drive, an innovative company. I think for myself, you know, continuing to strive for greatness each thing that we do, continue to strive to be the best that matches who I am, who Donovan Mitchell is as a brand, and I'm passionate behind it. I think for, for all athletes and for all people in general, being able to invest in what's one you believe in, what you're passionate about, but also a brand that's definitely successful <laughs> um, because it's great to believe, invest what you believe in, but, you know, if they're not successful, then, you know, money's down the drain and Body Armor's been, you know, successful even before Donovan Mitchell came on board and you know that was definitely something for me that I, I wanted to be a part of and I'm, I'm blessed to be part of the Body Armor family and continue to work with them for many more years. All right guys, it's Donovan Mitchell here. I just want to say thank you guys for seeing how I spent my first million and we'll see you guys again. Appreciate it.